So a couple weeks ago, I went to New Orleans, and on the way there on I-10, I saw this. This is a set of power lines on Lake Pontchartrain, and it just so happens to show the curvature of the Earth. But that picture isn't mine. I was with a bunch of people and we didn't have the time to stop, pull over on a busy highway that's on a bridge just to take a few pictures. Instead, I went home and looked it up and found out that a year ago, Soundly made this exact same observation and posted about it and there's been quite a bit of discussion. The point is, those who believe in the flat earth will often say something along the lines of, show me the curvature, show me a picture of the curvature, or how can I see the curvature of the earth? You know, I'm sure you've heard something like that if you watched Flat Earthers for some reason. And this is a good demonstration of the curvature of the Earth, and there are similar observations which soundly has made many. So that should be it, right? They asked to see the curve of the Earth, and we showed them the curvature of the Earth, so this should remove any doubt that the Earth is a globe, right? Well, you must be pretty new here, because of course they're not satisfied. This is going to be a quick and simple demonstration of perspective, one that's pretty obvious, uh, but one that has to be pointed out because so many people are still denying that perspective is a thing and are really trying hard not to get it. So uh, just showing here that from the side, this external reference frame of these bottles on the table, we can see very clearly that they are all the same height. Yeah. Now you can imagine that these bottles are, say, uh, electricity pylons going across Lake Pontchartrain, if you like, okay, we see that they're all the same height, yeah, on this flat, smooth surface. So if I just put the camera down here, uh, we can make a few more observations as well, yeah? People talk about angular size, and yes, there are angles, there is an angle at which these bottles appear to be uh, descending towards the horizon. There is also an angle at which the flat surface appears to be rising up to eye level. Yeah? So this is just, this shows us that the, the flat surface appears to rise to eye level due to perspective. Yeah? Just as the bottles appear to get shorter and to converge at the horizon due to perspective, yeah? But it's very simple, so here is the kind of observation that we usually make this from this internal frame of reference, yeah? This is what the observer sees. I'm not entirely sure what he's trying to say here, but if he's trying to say that this explains what we see in the image, then, well, he's wrong. I mean, yeah, on a flat Earth, perspective would make the towers seem to converge towards the horizon, but in a straight line. In this image, it is curved. To put it simply, this is what we would see on a flat Earth, and this is what we would see on a round Earth or globe Earth, and this is what we actually see. So, I mean, you be the judge. Yeah, so when you make these observations of alleged curvature, you've got this one from the observer's perspective, and then, to be scientific about it, you will then have to go and get a side-on view of that alleged curvature. Okay, so if you're claiming that a ship uh, is going down a curve a few miles in front of you, then all you have to do is go a few miles in the other direction and get a side-on view of this alleged curvature, yeah? It's not going to happen, it's not been done, never has been done, and will never be done by anyone trying to defend the globe, because all you will get is this. And this is an old trick that we call moving the goalposts. See, flat earthers have been saying for a while, you know, show me the curve. I don't see the curve. Show me the curve of the earth. And that in itself is a pretty tall order, but sure, here's the curvature of the earth. So that should be it. We fulfilled the request. We hit the goal that they set, except now the goal posts have moved. Now it's no longer show me the curve, it's show me multiple angles of the curve. Look, these pylons stretch for more than 15 miles. It would be really hard to get a side view of them 
all in one picture at a decent quality without using a wide angle lens because you'd complain about that as well. And even if we did that, we wouldn't see much curvature. Mick West made a nice post about this on a Metabunk thread discussing these images. See, look at this image of his. From this angle, the white chest pawns don't look all that curved, but if we look at it like this, then we can definitely see the curvature of the roof of the car, and it's totally different than what we would see on a flat surface. See, we don't need a side view of this. We can tell all that we need to by looking at them straight on. So he said that those power lines are exactly on a straight line, and they are all exactly the same height. He must have done some good research on it. But are they really on a straight line? Let's find out. This one is easy. All we gotta do is go to Google Earth and find the power line in Lake Pontchartrain. Well, I found him, and I'm just gonna draw a straight line from the beginning to the end and see if he is right. Well, he is not. They are not on a straight line. What's up with that? Should we just let it go like they do when we make a mistake? Did he just draw a line from the beginning to the middle? Did he even check that on Google Earth? I don't think so. Well, if you would have done your research, you would have found this, one of Soundly's videos where he shows you the set of pylons that he took a picture of, and it's not that one. So, if we look these up on Google Earth, as I did, then you'll see that, while they're not perfect, they're pretty straight, much straighter than the ones you showed. Here, I added points on all of the pylons, and I added another line over here. This line connects to the northernmost pylon on the lake. So let's see what happens if we connect the other end of the line to this one, which starts this straight line of pylons. Okay, pretty straight. Alright, it goes off to the side a little, but still pretty good. Not perfect, but still pretty straight. Okay, getting straighter. More straight, it's getting better. So, overall, not perfect, but pretty damn good. He goes on to explain how a curved line of pylons could totally explain everything we see in this image, but I don't even have to debunk all of that because the line was pretty straight. I mean, hell, Soundly even made a video of him driving east to west past this set of pylons, showing just how straight they are and that you can see the curve from both sides. And this was also discussed in the Metabunk thread. One of the more creative Flat Earth explanations is that he was using a digital zoom as opposed to an optical zoom, and a digital zoom causes distortion. Except not only was he not using digital zoom for all of his footage, but digital zoom doesn't cause any warping. It just looks bad because the quality is worse. Though the one guy that was making this claim is a probable troll, or at least I think so. And another common objection is that Soundly's pictures and videos are just fake. And well, they're not. Like I said before, I went to Lake Pontchartrain and I made this exact same observation, and you could too if you go to any similar structure. I may or may not be able to take a picture of this next time I go, but I really don't have to. And that's because Soundly himself had a live stream where he drove past this set of pylons, filmed it, and then uploaded that newly filmed video to YouTube, all on this stream so that you can see that he didn't fake any of it. Soundly here is doing some great work, and this was all discussed in the Metabunk thread. Again, seriously, the Metabunk thread is great. It's If you're interested in this, you should give it a read. Honestly, I'm kind of starting to feel bad about even making this video, because I don't think I really said much that hasn't already been said by someone else, but I guess that's just kind of how these discussions go. Links to everything in the description below, at least. So I'm citing, not plagiarizing.